What up YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. A couple days ago I posted a photo on my YouTube asking you guys what do you want to see on the channel and a lot of the responses were more Grateful Dead type lesson videos. So today is just that. We'll be looking at Scarlet Begonias and seeing how sort of my brain thinks and how you can take those chords B, E, and A and make them all into one scale by just changing one note of the A chord. So hope you enjoyed the video. Roll it. So let's call this whole series Dead Theory. Let's take some Grateful Dead songs and evaluate them in a more theoretical sense so we can see how we can approach some soloing techniques. First up, Scarlet Begonias, like you saw in the intro jam of this video. Very cool song. The cool thing with the guitar is that it's basically a huge puzzle piece. You're connecting the dots. Here's a G, here's G. Those are all G's, right? Just connecting the dots everywhere. But let's take now Scarlet Begonias. Scarlet Begonias chords E, B, A, right? Key is B. The scale that you would use, Mixolydian, yes, but let's dive more into that. The Mixolydian scale, as I'm sure you guys know by now, is a major scale the flat seven right there. You can also play it right here. Or right here. Or right here. All B Mixolydian scales. A major scale with the flat seven. So I think the first spot to start is figuring out all those areas you can do the B Mixolydian scale, right? And then you can say, okay, cool. Now the E chord. The E chord is the four chord of the B of this B scale. And the cool thing is E major. Is the same thing as B Mixolydian. You can also do it here. Right? Or you can do it here. All E major scales. And those are the exact same notes as B Mixolydian. The fun comes when you're over this A chord and you want to hear the change as well. As we know, A scale is A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. That doesn't fit B or E major, right? The A, those three, is also the flat seven of B Mixolydian, so that's okay. But what note can we change to make this scale fit the rest of the scales, and that is the D. So instead of playing that D, we're gonna make it a D sharp, right? So now we'll do A, B, C, D sharp, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. Right? And the cool thing is, you can look at it like, oh, you're just playing a B Mixolydian scale starting from the flat seven, basically, right? So here's a B Mixolydian scale starting from the root. Now from the flat seven, the A. Right? So now all of those three scales are the same. Now how do you see them? Well, the cool thing is we have triads, which I talk a lot about this channel. If we look at the song in triads, we can say, here's our B, right? Here's our E, or right there as well. And then here's our A, right? So we can say our B, Mixolydian root, would be the fourth fret of the G string. Right? E 
would be... Right there. And our A would be... So you're... The idea is that you're not moving a lot. And take that same exact knowledge and move it here now. So we can say, here's our B. Right? Here's our E. And then here's our A. Right? You have our B. You have our A. Right? You have our E. So that's how you see it, all those three scales in one. And once you have that down, then you can start jamming along and playing the changes, right? So you can do. stuff like that. Again, so I would say figure out everywhere you can play the scale for the root B like we talked about. You can do it also here. And do the same for the A chord, which would be an A major scale but with a sharp for the D sharp. And do the same with the E. And then Play them all in the same place the chord progression. You have B here, E here, and A here. You also have B, E, A. B, E, A. Right? B, E, A. B, E, A. So once you have all that down, then the cool thing is when you're soloing, you start low and you build up dynamics, and then you end up high in this B. All right guys, that's today's video on Scarlet Begonias and how you can take that solo progression and sort of see them all as one scale. Hope you enjoyed the video and this was what you're looking for. I plan on doing more of these. I think it's pretty cool and more in depth, maybe with like help on the way, Jack Straw, maybe Sugar and Althea in the future with a jam as well in the beginning. Let me know as, as well as what song do you want to see me analyze or get in the mind of, sort of. So with all that being said, if you did enjoy the video, press like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.